Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. Video for you today is not really going to be part of a build or anything that has to do with the car, but it is going to be on the car. Um, it's going to be sort of an experiment because I'm not really sure either way. Let me tell you what I'm talking about is the insulation underneath the hood. Some people say it does something, others say it doesn't do anything. People say it's for sound or for heat. Um, personally, I don't I don't think it does anything. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take several different temperatures of the out on the outside of the hood before I even start the car up or do anything today. Record those and average that out, and then I'm gonna start it up. We're gonna let it warm up out in the sun um then i'm gonna go drive it around and do some you know high more high speed driving and lower speed and see and then come back and let it sit for probably two or three minutes still running in the sun and see where the heat comes up to and then i'm going to take the insulation off and do the same thing again and we'll be able to compare with sound and with temperatures to see if it does in fact do anything or maybe it's absolutely pointless. Let's get to it. To record the temperatures today I'm going to be using this Craftsman temp gun. It goes up to a thousand degrees so if we have to worry about that then we got bigger problems than the hood insulation looks like just resting overnight inside the garage no sunlight on it or anything that it's around 93 degrees ninety three and a half degrees so let's fire it up get it outside let it warm up and then we'll see what we got <laughs> So I've got the car parked here in the sun running, idling about 7,500, or idling about 750 RPMs. Um, I'm going to let it sit here and warm up for about 5 minutes, then we're going to take the temperature on the hood. Uh, because of dealing with all the temperatures, uh, I feel like it's important to say that the temperature outside is 90 degrees. So. That, that also has something to do with the heat that we're going to build up. And it's right around 1230, so the sun's about straight up. So we'll see what it reads. So after the five minute warm up, the temperature was about 140. Some places like 141, some places 139, so I have about 140 on the hood. So the water temperature is just starting to come up now. Um, but we're going to go ahead and drive around a little bit. Um, I want to give you somewhat limited talking so that you can hear what you can hear um, of the engine and whatnot. So that way we can tell if there's a sound difference. So, um, I don't know. See, see what you can hear. We'll see what happens.
Alright, so now that we've come back from our drive, I'm going to let it sit here and idle for a minute and then we're going to go take temperatures after the drive. Alright, so temperature read about 135 all the way through. So we're going to go ahead and put it back in the garage, let it cool down, and then we're going to take off the insulation and go do all, go do everything again. We'll see see what happens. Alright, so the hood here behind me is pretty much cooled down, so we're going to go ahead and pop the hood and take off the insulation so we can get started with the other steps, see if we can tell a difference. The This is a real easy thing to take off. All it is is push pins, so it won't take us very long at all. Alright, so now that we got that off, let's go out and take it first. Alright, so going by the way we did it before, we gotta sit out and warm up for five minutes. Um, I don't know if we'll do the full five minutes because it's a lot hotter out now than it was uh, earlier when we were doing it. We'll let it set for probably two minutes, thirty seconds, three minutes, and then we'll then we'll take the temps. So while we sit and wait here. When I took that off, I noticed, you know, obviously you could see the underside of the hood and everything, and uh, I was planning on doing this, but I think it's going to be a lot easier than I thought it would be to make the hood scoop actually real and actually have some effect to it. Um, I don't know. I probably won't make it do anything with the intake, but... Um, it might have some cooling effects if we open it up more, so we'll see. We might do that down the road. As far as the sitting in the sun, warming up part of the test goes, the hood was really about the same. Uh, some spots were hotter and, and other spots were cooler, but you know that could just be due to do with sun load, so I'll, this might be a bust, but... We'll go ahead and take her on the cruise and see what happens with it. So now that we're back, we're going to have our one minute cool down, and then we're going to take temp final temperatures and see if there's any difference that we can find. Alright, so we've got the car back in the garage here. We've done all our testing, taken all our measurements. So let's talk about a little bit what we found. So when we first came in here after having it set all night, uh, I drove it in here probably about 10 o'clock last night, and it sat all night. Um, came out about 12.30 and it was about 90 degrees, 91, 93 on the hood. Uh, it was about 90 outside, so pretty close there. Um, started it up, pulled it outside for five minutes, just sitting there idling in the sun, and the temperature got up to 140, uh, 145, somewhere in there. So I went and took it for a drive, came back let it cool down for uh, let it 
idle for a minute and it was about 130 to 135 um, then let it cool back down and get it got it as close to 90 93 as I could um, let it set for about two hours and it was pretty close at about 95 97 and there that I felt like that was close enough uh, took it back out then I started it up and set it out in the Sun for a five minute idle and it came out to be about 145 to 150 um, somewhere in there about the same really uh, but could just be a been a difference of sun load and things like that uh, took it for the drive came back and after the one minute rest at idle it was actually cooler it was about 113 to 120 than it was after the initial one now you could get on my case all this stuff about wind and all that stuff or the manner in which I drove. I tried to keep that the same on both times. Um, but things like that shouldn't make all that much difference if it does really what it what people say it does. Um, as far as sound goes, I would say that there may have been a slight difference. It may have been a bit louder without the insulation on, but in a car like this, what's wrong with having it louder? You know, people put exhaust on it and long tube headers and off-road X pipes and things like that. So clearly they're not going for it to be quiet. And I'm certainly not going to either. So with that being said, as far as what I'm looking for, I don't think that there's really any point in having the insulation on there um, especially because I plan to make the hood scoop on it you know actually do something and may, might even help with cooling the engine so with that being said I think it does absolutely nothing it's pretty much pointless uh, let me know in the comments what you think uh, if there's any other tests you think I should have done let me know I can try and do them make another video about it whatnot whatever uh, if you think there's other purposes for it let me know on those as well um, either way thanks for watching please like and subscribe have a great day